All right, YouTube, let's look at the uh, urea cycle real quick. So there's a lot of mnemonics online to do this. Um, the one that I found to be the most uh, memorable is this one. It's ordinary careless crappers are also frivolous about urination. Ordinary careless crappers are also frivolous about urination, which is uh, memorable because it's uh, true, I guess, right? Um, people who are frivolous with their sh their um, crap are usually frivolous with their urine. If you've used public toilets, you know that. So this should be memorable. One other thing is, even if you can remember the letters, it doesn't guarantee you're going to remember all these reagents. And so I think the easiest way to handle this situation is that you need to draw the pathway many times um, and do that in a memorable way. So this... Um, this little box I got here is how you you should practice um, drawing this. Um, so first, draw a U like this, and this is um, a reminder of the urea cycle. And then draw one more arrow, and then there's going to be all these um, these reagents on the corner, and then something going in or, or going out on each side. So on this side we have things coming out. And on this side, we have things coming in. And one thing to know in both places where we have something coming in is where we have the ammonia coming in. Um, and that's important to note. The, re the, uh, the reason why we have this cycle at all, of course, is to eliminate the ammonia from uh, protein um, metabolism because ammonia is, um, of course, toxic whereas forming urea in this urea cycle will help us to both um, render that uh, toxic urea safer and also um, easier to um, excrete from the body uh, by way of urea. So the first reagent is ornithine, so you can draw ornithine here. And now ornithine um, reacts with carbamoyl phosphate um, and that forms citrulline. So here we have carbamoyl phosphate, and this is one place where the ammonia comes into the into the cycle, carbamoyl phosphate, and this forms citrulline. Now citrulline forms um, arginosuccinate by way of addition of aspartate. Now, aspartate is again another source of the ammonia, and so. Um, that's important to note, I guess, for various reasons. Um, probably for you, most important now is test taking. Um, then we have arginosuccinate decomposing and forming fumarate and um, fumarate and arginine. Yeah, arginine. So arginine and then arginine decomposing to form urea and ornithine. And then one last thing to note is that this all happens within the mitochondria. So everything on here, you can see these little cristae I've, I've drawn in. Everything that happens here is within the, uh, the matrix of the mitochondria where you have citrulline crossing over and ornithine crossing in. Um, with respect to each side. So let me show briefly, basically, some a couple items. So I think uh, we'll look at this one. Um, so again, I think this is a little more confusing. Obviously, this is more of a, um, a uh, undergraduate biochemistry rather than a medical biochemistry approach. Um, but again, aspartate coming in here, donating this um, this nitrogen here. And then carbamoyl phosphate again in the mitochondria coming in and donating that nitrogen here and ultimately um, decomposing to form urea um, from um, arginine. And one other thing is it's easy to remember arginine is in this cycle if you already know the structure of arginine because it is so close to urea. Of course, I guess that also assumes you know the structure of urea. But I think this is important to know this sort of relationship between arginine and urea. So arginine is basically um, on its way to becoming urea and ornithine.
and that is evident from its structure. Um, anything else to say here? Um, again, yeah, ordinary careless crappers are also frivolous about urination. So draw that a couple times and I have no doubt that you will um, succeed at figuring this out. So um, one thing to note though is that these, these letters go from um, from corner to middle to corner, right? So ordinary careless crappers are also frivolous about urination, right? And so arginine and urea, again, because I think you know the structure should be quick, quick uh, recovery, mental recovery. And then um, fumarate coming out, aspartate going in, carbamoyl phosphate coming in. And again, this is this is the source of ammonia, and this is the source of ammonia, or I guess more accurately, we would say nitrogen. Anyhow, draw that a couple times. Good luck to you guys, and cheers.